do, 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 do. Uh, where am I? And how's the stream? Do, 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 do. Uh, let's go And we're ready. So welcome back, everybody. Uh, we will be doing some uh, good development today, uh, and we're ready. And what? Well, uh, so welcome back, everybody. Uh, okay. So yeah, uh, we'll be doing some uh, good development. Uh, we will be working on the synth itself. So. Um, Let's get started. So the first thing I want to do is basically we have to completely remove uh, the. Let's get started. So the first uh, I will have to completely remove uh, the the files I have created here, and that basically means. Yeah, probably will actually delete the entire thing here, because we will not be using uh, the triple escalator after all. Let's delete all this. And instead, instead, uh, we will be moving uh, inside here. Everything has to do with SV, S, S, SF2 player. Uh, let's copy and paste that as it is inside here because I will be using. I will be using. Um, the SF2 uh, code base. Um, so I'm not going to be touching those. This is the include files, uh, include pl uh, plugin. This is all the thing that it has. Uh, I'm not too sure about those. Patches dialog UI, what is that? I didn't see that at all. Okay, what is that? Patch dialog to UI. No idea what that is. Edit UI file and get the design. Okay, so this is actually a designer file, so I cannot I cannot directly edit this one. Or can I? So let's look at this. Yeah. Ah, patches dialogue. It's for the patches. Okay, let's let's take a look a bit. So player. So that must be that dialogue.
Oh, there it is. Okay, so this is this is the dialogue. Mm. Okay. Okay, I will I will leave it as it is for now. I can always come back back to it later. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is renaming things. Uh, so let's see what we have here. There are not a lot of files. Uh, where is the where's the source code files? What is dialog CPP? This is to the player CP. So we're going to rename this as uh, what are two other ah, header file. Okay, so this one's going to be made to laser dragon as one name. Uh, or should I actually capitalize it? That is something I don't remember if I have to do. Anyway, so what is the SVT player and header file? Let's name that as laser dragon as well. And see what we're going to do from there. Uh, Patch dialog here. You have to go inside here and find the header file. No, this is going to keep the. What is the header file for the include for the. Not the patch. No, not the patches. Uh, the laser dragon CVP. This one. So it must be a header file here that says, yeah, this one has to change to laser dragon. Laser dragon. And we have to change accordingly also the CMake files. So the fluid change is going to keep it as it is. Uh, this is must be, yeah. So let's do it laser dragon. And this one is going to be uh, laser dragon. And this one is going to be also laser dragon. And patch dialog will remain as it is. So we'll keep this as it is for now. Uh, laser dragon also is going to change here. Come on. Uh, yeah, I'm going to keep it as it is. Uh, okay. So he says that if only if there's uh, include here. Okay. What else do we need to change? So I'm going to have to go here and then change the classes. So the classes are the SV, SV, SV2 plugin data, SV2 instrument, and SV2 instrument. So, okay, so let's start with SV2 plugin data. Call it, uh, oh, how am I going to call it? I will call it LD for laser drum. So, I'll actually, sort it out. So, let's change that. Control find and change that to LD plugin data. Um, okay. 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 Yes. Yes. We finish with this rename. And then we're going to rename this one. Control find LD instrument. This one is going to be instrument. So this one has a lot. Let's take a look. Okay, let's say I hope we don't mess anything up. Okay, I think we're fine. So, do we have anything SF2 here? Uh, let's search. SF2. There's the SF2 knob. We're going to change the SF2 knob 
to ld knob ld knob so yes 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 Okay, do we have anything else as fit to like? Yes, we have. No, that we don't touch this, not this. Uh, SF2 directory. No, that's fine. No. Okay, so this one should be a laser dragon. Uh, so we have to change SF2 player. To laser dragon, laser dragon. So let's do it once, twice, thrice. Uh, what does we have? S two S F two file. That's fine. SV2 ASCII, that's fine. It's for loading files. We're going to keep those as they are because they are SF2 anyway. Uh, that's fine. SV2 font. Mm, okay, leave it this as it is for now. I'm not minding that. SV2 file, SV2 ASCII. Uh, they're fine, I think. I don't see any problem here. Okay. So let's keep that as it is. We're going to keep the copyright as it is. Let's go here and do the same things in the header file. Uh, let's start with uh, SV2 player H. I want to change that to uh, laser dragon H. Laser dragon H. So this is only used two times. Then what else we have instead of SV2? Uh, we have the instrument view. So let's take a look at this. So what we're going to do is change everything apart from the file. So, OK, let's do it like that. So it's going to be a lot easier to do it like that. So it's going to change to LD. Uh, and that's correct. I think I didn't change that, so no. Yes, yes. 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 No. 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 Yes. 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 No. No. Yes. 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 And we're finished. So now we'll see if, first of all, it builds. Um, so the, the errors with the imports because they doesn't understand imports. Uh, there are errors here also with the imports because it doesn't find the imports those fields there. Probably I have to add them somewhere. Okay. Uh, the Patel del Q header view which doesn't find it. What else we have? Do we have anything SF2 here? Okay, let's go and control find SF2. Yeah, do we have anything? No, only the comma. So that's fine too. Uh, I don't know if that one has a problem. I don't think. Patches dialog, no, I haven't touched that. Uh, is it anything SF2 here? No, nothing SF2. Uh, I think we're fine. The only thing I need to change, I don't think I need to change anything. The laser dragon is already added. Uh, I think it's fine. I think it should be fine. Okay, let's take a look if it actually builds now. Uh, how I built this? I think I built it by going and say make T20, I think, is it? Doesn't seem to complain so far. Let's see what we'll see. Oh, we have an error. So what is the error? The error is, that's a warning. That's a warning, I think. What's the error? Okay, let's take a look at the problems. 
include errors, cannot open source file or crew variant, oh no, that's not the, what we want, no, where's the errors, where's the error, oh here it is, no rule to make So there must be some error here. Where is it? So it says no rule to make target needed by plugins laser dragon. Okay, I think probably needed to configure the project again. Okay, in order to do that, okay, let's uh, go uh, outside. Let's remove the directory. Uh, let's uh, make the directory again. Uh, let's sit in the directory. And I think it was what was one one I was using to no. What was the one I had MC make here? I think let's see. Do I have it? C make here it is. Okay. Uh, I think this one should be the one. Let's reconfigure the CMake file so it has to make me rebuild things. Reconfigure things, okay, and let's now make it uh, J20 and see if now works. The nice thing about this project is it actually compiles very fast, which is pretty nice compared to the code that, uh, source code, which is a lot uh, slower. This one is really, really fast. I mean, it benefits the fact that I have, uh, you know, 12 cores, so this is not a, a slow computer by any means, but it's nice to see things that are really, that's fast. This is not a, a slow computer by any means, but... Okay, let me remove that, I don't need that. Uh, okay, so I don't see errors, which is nice. Uh. Mm. Okay, so it was, I think it was a configuration problem. So I think we don't really have an error in the code. Uh, yeah. The one thing I haven't done is changing actually the text. Uh, this is one thing I've done that was wrong. I should have gone here and go here and change the starting text, which should be, no, it shouldn't be soft SFTL, it should be laser dragon. So let me do that. So it actually built without any issues, which is very nice. Laser Dragon. Uh, player for some file files, I will make it to saying, um, you know, uh, how are we going to say it? Sampling, sample, sample sequencer. Let's call this sample sequencer, but we'll see. We're going to change the name, not to annoy it, Cork. That we copy too much. Uh, what is that? SF2, SF3. What it means? What is that? That I may check it out. I don't know what that it means. This one is. Plugin Dragon Dragon. Well, anyway, we'll find. Probably there are some extensions, maybe. I don't know. So let's rebuild it again. This is going to be very fast. To just to change the name, it shouldn't be a problem. Okay, it built, and now let's open it. Uh, I see that everything works fine. Okay, that's good. Uh, let's go with pulse audio. Thank you very much. Let's resize, resize that. And let's go and see. Yeah, here's a laser dragon. It has even changed the icon. And here's what we want. Okay, let's load 
a sound font to make sure that everything works fine. Uh, let's throw this one and let's, let's see if it sounds anything like the way I want to sound. Okay, I think you hear this, guys. Uh, let's throw this one and let's, let's see if it sounds anything like the way I want to sound. Okay, I think you hear this. Yeah, okay. Let's just check in the stream to see if everything works fine. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, so we're ready. So let's go and design this thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and open up Blender. Blender. Uh, let's take a look first of all. Let's take a look first of all uh, of the, the main. The one thing we're going to show is always the artwork that's doing things. So this is actually the main. I'm going to change that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to change that. So we need to de to replace this one, this graphic here. So I'm going to do is just go and rename that to uh, back as a backup, just in case I want to use it again. Although I will not really need it. Um, and let's go in and open Blender. And I'm going to go with the top uh, view. Oh, menus from actually, how is the top? Okay, so how I switch to top menu? Uh, actually, make, 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 let's make sure that, first of all, which version is this one? Is it updated? Uh, no, it's here. 293. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's see, how do I switch the view? No, 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 I want to go to preferences and open. So what we're going to be doing now is basically design this kind of background uh, to have a basic uh, GUI background. Um, okay, let's see, is, is Pi menu still an add-on? Yeah, there's still an add-on. So let's enable the Pi menus. Okay. Uh, let's see now. No, okay. What the? So what happens with the pie menus? Where they went? Now this Q is favorite. How to change the viewport? Now I know that I can use my to change the viewport here. Uh, this one must be. I will go from from top. Uh, no, this is top. Okay, let's go like that. It's not a problem. Okay, so first of all, we have to decide on the resolution. Uh, I will go with, uh, I want to make this in, in uh, one, uh, eight, uh, 1920 to 180. So let's say half of that. So let's make it 600 by 600. I think that a quote like that should be enough for now. So let's go here and send, is this, no, this one. Uh, send this one to 600. Uh, by 600. Uh, I'm going to need to do, go for the camera, actually. Uh, I think camera is... Which one is camera? No, this this is not... Which one is camera? No, let's use... This is the camera, okay. And I want the camera to be orthographic. I don't want to be perspective. Maybe use it to, to perspective at some point, but uh, let's make it orthographic for now. Okay, and let's go here to viewport, uh, lock camera to view, and let's zoom. What? Lock camera to view. Okay, that works. Why the zoom? Why the zoom doesn't work? Okay, it's not a problem. Well, actually, it is a problem. Why does it work? Wait, 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 wait. Why you don't work, my dear? Okay, so this one works. This one, the zoom doesn't really work. So, uh, how you zoom out? Why I cannot zoom out? Uh, look, come out of you. I want to go back. I can actually can. No, I don't want to. Wait, what? Okay. 
Okay, so let's move to, I don't know, the Z axis? No. The Y axis? No. The X axis. Yeah, that's not gonna work. What the hell? Ah. Uh, it used to work like that. Why the zoom? Uh, okay, let's take, let's let's take, take a look. If something changed with Blender, or I don't remember correctly how to do this. So, how to zoom camera out in lock to view? Okay, zoom camera controls. Ah, sorry, my, I have to add Blender, of course. Blender. How to move the camera? Simply explain. Blah blah. So. Let's see. Yeah, that's that's not gonna work. Blah 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 blah. The viewport, the camera, adding the camera. No, I don't care. Viewport controls, zoom, orbit. Ah, okay, the camera has also controls. Yeah, of course. Let's take a look. Ooh. Move the view. Yeah. Okay. Zoom in. No, nope, the same thing. I don't want to zoom in, I just want to navigate. Why you make this so difficult? Uh, this is working as standing on the zoom, so have notified the camera data. Wait, what says? Uh, zoom in with the look camera feature activates the not work when coming inside the orthographic mode. Ah, oh, so it doesn't work with orthographic. Is this the way, the reason why? So if I go perspective, it will change. Ah, I see now, I see, I see. Okay, okay. So if I change back to orthographic, what happens? Okay, okay, let's, 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 let's do two of them. Okay, uh, hide this one, hide this one. Uh, okay, haven't used Blender for some time. And I don't even remember how it works. Uh, let's go to I don't know something like that, and let's take the camera here. Um, so the camera should be uh, which part is the front? The front should be this one. So okay. So let's see the rotation. I want the rotation to be zero. I want to, let's restore everything. Yeah, that's exactly what I want. And I want the Y axis to rotate by 90. Yeah, so what is what is up and what is down now? Uh, let's see, if I move this up. No, sorry. Uh, GZ. So this is up, okay. And T, Y, X. And this is uh, positive as well. Okay, so I want to rotate in X axis by 90 as well. Mm, no. What? Wait, 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 wait. No. Why? Wait, what? Wait. Why rotates? Why? This is X axis. Why the hell rotates like that? What? Seriously? What the hell is doing? Now it rotates normally. Now it rotates normally. What? Wait, what? In Y axis, it rotates in Y axis when I say to rotate on a He axis. In X axis. Why? Why the axis are rotated? Okay, maybe it's because I rotated here. I don't know, man. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So this is the he axis. That's correct. Ah, okay, okay. So it takes the local axis. How do I move to... Okay. Anyway, uh, let's go to... Let's, let's do a 90 again. And let's go to Y, B90, maybe? Yeah, it's a, first of all, why it's like that? 
Okay, so let's go with, uh, I don't know, 180. Seriously, what the hell? I have no idea what I'm doing right now. Okay, so 90. Okay, so this one. No, it's not this one. So this one. I want this one. Oh, I'm confused. Okay, so uh, not global, let to it local. Yeah, I think I'll have to go local, uh, maybe. Okay, so let's go again, 90. Okay, so let's go here, no, because the local. Uh, so you need to go to rotate on the, on the Z axis, yeah, of course. 19 on the Z axis. And yeah, we are now ready. So we have to put this one. Uh, okay, sorry. Let's put it here and let's put it down there. Okay. Okay, so let's let's put it like that. That here. Um, and yeah, that's why it's wrong. And put it here. So make is zero. Uh, yeah, and zero Z as well. So now it's in the center. Now, the big question is, no, I don't want that. I want, okay, I want that. Okay, so how do I make this? So I will have to resize, okay, I will resize the, Okay, okay. I will resize this one. So let's make this 30 then. And let's go here and resize this thing. Okay, so I want to make this larger. Uh, I think we're going to find for now. Let me save this. So save, save us. And that's going to go to... Uh, 3D. Yeah, let's do it here. Uh, let's make a new folder. Laser Dragon. And go here and name this one as Artwork. Artwork. Artwork Splint. Okay. Save us. Um, so let's scale this one to be exact size as the camera. And rend render it to see that it renders properly. Let's render it. Okay. So what is used for rendering? I don't want EV now. I want cycles. I know I want CPU, I want CPU. So let's go back and render image. Took forever. I logged in kernel. Yeah, it's the first time it loads the kernel for the for the CUDA driver, so it may take a bit of time. Uh, sample and annotate. Okay. Okay. So wait a second, this is N, this is N, with globes, view, image, tool, okay, okay. So let's start, instead of waiting for this, because it will take forever probably, uh, let's first of all unite the UIs, because we're going to need not join area, so just join here, let me go back here and go how? I think I use... Wait. No. No. Go back to where we were. What? Come on, man. Yeah, that's, that was my bad. Uh, let me go back to... That was my bad. Uh, let me go back to the camera. And make sure that I haven't... Wait, the camera is zero? What? Why is the camera zero? Okay, let's go back. Uh, 
What? What's zero? I didn't apply the rotation. Also, where is the... Yeah, it is. Now it's not zero. What the hell is going on here? Ah, that's a 3D cursor. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay, it was, the, it was showing me the 3D cursor. Okay, just not okay. So, let's make that to zero. Uh, let's change that back to 90. And let's take this one and put it back to its place. Here. So, let's make sure that uh, the film has transparency behind. So this one is transparent. It should read as a transparent. Uh, I think the cursor is with the middle click, right? No. So let's go to view. Uh, we don't need. Uh, we don't need to lock to camera view anymore. I want to keep and let's lock the camera. Uh, lock uh, the rotation because I don't want to change that. Uh, the only thing I want to change the location. It should be thirty. And this one should be zero. And this one also should be zero. And I want to let to to wait. Why that has a problem? Oh, that should be zero. I don't know. Let's lo uh, lock those as well, and lock the scale as well. I don't want to to be able to edit the camera. And let's go and put that back to its place. And let's do it as zero, 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 and zero. Actually, this is in, in the zero coordinates. It's fine. So now we have no problem. Scale. The scale is fine. Uh, so how we move the cursor? It used to be. Co it wasn't. It wasn't the. So let's uh, lock the lo rotation, the scale here. Let's lock the rotation as well of this one, and lo lock the scale as well. Uh, how you change the cursor? Hmm. I mean, it's not a problem, but uh, it would be nice if I could change the cursor. Okay, so let's take a look. What is the shortcut for changing the cursor position? Blender shortcut change cursor position. Okay, let's see how how old is that. Oh, no, no, there the cursor of all shortcuts. No, I don't want the snap menu. Okay, let's take a look at this. Uh, what is the cursor? It used to be the middle clicker thing. Uh, you can set the position of the cursor press by using the snap menu. Access to, no, I don't want to use the snap menu. Shift and right click. Shift and right click. Is it not what I did? I think I tried that. Shift and right click. Shift and right. Okay, I didn't try that. Okay. So let's put here uh, some text uh, that says uh, Shift A and add text. Uh, the text will be saying. Wait, what? What I'm selecting right now? The text. Okay. So let's say. Laser Dragon. Let's put it like that. Uh, let's see. What is it? Okay, no, I don't want the text to be like that. I want to, to rotate it, so it has to go outside. Uh, so I have to rotate it on the z-axis, I think. Right? And then it has to rotate also on the x-axis, I think. Right? No. Uh, it must be the z-axis. Okay, so if I go back to the camera, which I think is zero, uh, I can select this one. I can select the text, and actually, I can make this cube not selectable. How? How do I make? It used to be here. How do I make this one way? So let's go with uh, this one. Let's go here. Let's make the offset. So we're going to need an offset to be able to show in 3D. 
Mm, geometry. So offset, let's make it to one meter. Oh no, I think one meter is probably is too much. Is it 0 0.1? Uh, I think, yeah. Oh, actually, no, it's not an offset. My bad, my bad. It's the extrude. I think it's the extrude, right? Let's take a look. Yeah, it's extrude. Okay. Uh, so let's position that on the Z axis. Let's put it some here. Okay, let's go back to the real. Yeah. Uh, so let's first of all change the text that the text is wrong. It should say laser dragon. Laser dragon as one word. And it doesn't have to be that large. So probably something smaller like that. And what? Wait, what? Why? I have a menu now. Whatever. So I'm going to change the font. I think I have the Minecraft. Where, where I use the Minecraft font? I use it for my background. So I could use the Minecraft font. So let's, a look, let's see. I think I don't know if it's going to be a good font for here because I want something. Uh, I, would, I would like to, uh, look to, for it to look very 80s-like. Uh, so let me change the material to something red uh, like that. And let me change the font as well to something pretty fancy. So the font is here and I'm going to go and pick a font. I think you pick it like that. And I will go to, no, actually it here, Godot. Uh, what was it? Background, Steam background. There's a Minecraft. Here it is. Okay, that's nice. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. Something digital looking. So let's go and do it like that. Um, and yeah, and just render it. It's still rendering? That's not normal. What the hell is doing? Why it renders forever? Okay, let's try again. Render image. Okay, that's much better. So laser draw. Ah, okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. Yeah, I probably have to take a look at the light. The light is actually wrong. I don't want it to be up. Uh, so if I go here, this is a is a sunlight, I think. If I'm not mistaken, is it a sunlight? E no, it's not. Now it is sunlight. Okay, that is a bit better, I think. So let's go here. Uh, no, zero. Yes. And let's change that to render. Okay, it's too bright. So let's move the strength to 100. Uh, and let's move the strength to 10. Yeah, that's not bad. We will change, of course, uh, pretty much everything in the process. I want also this material to be uh, a bit like a scream tracker a bit. So I want to be this kind of uh, brownish color. But I don't want to be too saturated. I don't want to be too saturated. Let's try to, let's, let's, let's stay with this one. Actually, no, I want to be a bit darker. Let's make it a bit darker. Yeah, I don't want to be too bright. Yeah, I think that should do. So that is the kind of color scheme I'm going to be aiming for. Uh, le yes, and let's, let's leave it like that for now, uh, because I don't want this stream to be too long. Obviously, it will take us several streams to... Uh, yeah. So we have here a spam bot, as always. Uh, let me go and ban him. Uh, OK. Actually, let me use that, copy that, so I can actually add it to my spam bot detection. Uh, let me go to here and ban this guy. Okay, and let me also go to Notboot. Uh, okay, where is it? It was in the spam filters. Let me find it. Spam protection. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, yeah. 
let's see, is it here? Big follows. Okay. What? Options. I'm gonna ban this one. Here we go. You are spammed. Okay. That should do the trick. So, uh, okay, so let's save that. Let's export this. Uh, is it rendered? I think I rendered it. Okay, so let's render it again and see how it looks. I'm happy with that. Uh, and let's export to see that everything works the way that I expected to work. Um, and you're going to have to go where? You have to go, of course, in my main repository about LMS, I think. What is it? Yeah, it's LMS. So what is it? Why can I find it? Yeah, here it is. So you go to plugins, you go to laser dragon. And here you're going to make one that's called artback artwork dot PNG. Artwork dot PNG. Save as image. Now, I don't know if I, I need to reconfigure the project. That's something I'm not aware of yet. Let's take a look at this. Yeah, it's been fine. Uh, I don't know about this, why it is, why it is has this kind of things. Let's, let's, can we zoom in? Zoom in, thank you. Zoom in more. What is that? What, what, what are those dots? I don't know. So. Leave it as it is for now. Uh, control zero. I think is it control zero? Control C? No. No, 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 no. Ah. No, that's okay. Here. Yeah. So, how the hell? Ah, okay, you need to. Okay. So, let's see if it builds first of all. Uh, let's go here and make the project again and see if it includes the new file. Uh, or do I have to reconfigure the whole thing again? Uh, yep, I have to reconfigure the whole thing again. Ah. So maybe make clean. Usually it cleans up everything in the make and then uh, do it that again. Maybe that is uh, the, the way to do it. I don't know. Also, where's the, what the hell is the, it doesn't do it, the timer doesn't work. Never works. Seriously, why the timer doesn't work? They go. What? So when? Enable. It is enable. Doesn't work. I don't know. Maybe I need to buy something. Anyway, I try to make the timers because I have now a Discord. You can find it by using this command. Um, and I have also a YouTube tab, obviously, 
where I actually upload all these uh, things here. So you can actually uh, go to this for the Discord and this one for um, for my YouTube channel to find uh, the archives for all these uh, streams. So let's take a look if that has worked now. LMS. Uh, there's a dragon. I will have to change it. Oh, nice. But it hasn't changed the resolution here. So we need to change that. So let's see what we need to change that. Uh, where exactly we defined uh, the viewport. So I think it was in the LD view, if I'm not mistaken. So let's find the L view um, instrument. No, it's not here. It's not here. It's not here. No. No. Is it? No, I think it's a separate class, if I'm not mistaken. Is it not a separate class? Or am I mistaken? I think it was. Maybe it's not separate. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, let's see. Plugin view. Instant view. L LD instrument view. Yeah, it's a separate class. Lend instrument view. Yeah, here it is. So here we have to define the size. Where is the definition of the size of the entire window? This is the patch panel. This is the file button. Uh, where is it exactly? The definition of the entire size of the window. Uh, where you are, where you are. Uh, hmm, interesting stuff here. Okay. Move, this is a move. Okay, so. No. So, okay, where is the. Set brass, background role, plugin name, get icon, pixmark, artwork. Okay, where is exactly the total size? No, it's not this one. This one is not. Nope. No. Something I'm missing here. Okay, maybe it's in the header file. Could be in the header file. Where's the header file? Let's drag on it. No, it's not here. Uh, okay, so let's go with the CP file. So the CB file. Okay, let's take it step by step. Maybe it's defined somewhere else. Uh, where's the size of the window itself?
So there's the instantiate view here, the instrument view is here, and this one is the instrument view. View fixed size. Instrument view fixed size. Fixed size. Instrument view fixed size. Maybe that's the problem. It is. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't allow you to change the size. It's a standard size uh, dialog. Okay, let's take a look at what other thing here. It doesn't have a free uh, a standard size. Do all of them have a standard size? Uh, I don't think so. What happens if I don't want my my plugin to have a size of that? size which is going to be that size of that size because everything's other size nothing changes really oh my god and that means i cannot resize those also hmm. so we have to change that so okay so Let's find a uh, good definition of that. Instrument view fixed size. So now we can find it. Okay, let's 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 search it. Go to declaration. No. Okay, let's copy that. And let's go here and find it. Can you find it? You can find it. So there's an instrument view, which is what we want, and here. It has instrument fixed size. Okay, what else it has? Instrument view. So how define the size though? Instrument view, which is basically is from the plugin view. So give me the plugin view. Go to definition, yes. So plugin view. Uh, plugin. How do I change the size of that? So it's not a standard size. Uh, so I can actually have it as an instrument view and allow to resize it. Which inherits from the plugin view which is this one which inherits from uh, Quick widget and model view okay let's take a look the plugin view inherits from the quick widget so take a look at the documentation of quick widgets uh wait a second wait a second, wait a second. how it stops it from uh from resizing because just because it's a fixed fix view doesn't mean it doesn't resize how you yeah how you make it so it cannot size hint maximum size hint maximum size hint maximum size hint 250 by 250 so let's take a look at uh, size hint qt okay let's do what the size hint first of all is doing what you doing exactly size hint was it size wait 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 size hint that's in one word okay so size hint qt okay let's take a look uh qq widgets class that's correct um so let's say yeah that's exactly what i want what's the purpose of this uh, five methods so let's see all uh, the methods here uh, if i want to change the size i will go probably in the size 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 here it is the size which size is a q size q size resize okay so we need to do to add the resize here so what happens if i resize what happens if i resize uh this is the recommended size for the widget. So this one uh, holds the recommended size. Oh, 
Okay, so I can we can resize it. So what I'm going to do is goes to uh, here and do a resize and hope for the best. So I'm going to do the resize here. No, I can actually do it up there. Let's do it up the up here. Uh, let's do a resize. Uh, a resize of uh, 600 by 600. Let's see if that is going to work, first of all. Can I call the functions directly here? Uh, what happens when I call my functions? Uh, is this going to work? You see, if you don't know how to use C++, you ask stupid questions, but uh, whatever. Let's try it. When it fails, it fails. Ah, it didn't fail. Okay, so let's uh, go and uh, mess. So let's see if it actually resize now. Uh, let's go here and let's go to... Where is it? No, where is it? Let's hear this. Nope. It didn't resize. I completely ignore that. Um, so let's make it to be an instrument here then, an instrument view. So it doesn't, so instead of inter instrument view fixed size, it's going to be just an instrument view. I think that should do the trick. Should do the trick. Uh, let's go here and unless I should go with this. Unless the way that I'm doing it is wrong. And I should go with this. Maybe? Yeah, I think I should go with this. With this uh, because I have to resize the instance. So let's go with this resize. Which basically going to return a pointer to... Uh, a pointer to the instance of the object, of, the cl of this class. So let's go make... Say 20. And... Oh, we have an error. So what's the error? The error is... Uh, what the hell is the error? There's a warning here. Another warning here, so there are all the warnings. But what's the error? The error. Instrument view is not a direct base of LD instrument view. What? It's not a direct base. Ah, uh, yeah, of course, because it has to be inherited. Yeah, it, it should be the header file. I have to change in the header file as well. So was the header? Uh, no, was header. So instrument view should be, yeah, it shouldn't be instrument view. Yeah, that's why it complains. Uh, let's try it again. Now I shouldn't complain. Yeah, so... MS and uh, let's do that and do that. Nope. And I cannot resize this either. So yeah, we have to find a way. We have to find a way to solve this because it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Because 250 by 250 is gonna be too small for the UI I want to create. So I have to find a way. Uh, the rest is actually working. The MIDI works. So I have to find a way to do that. So we're going to do it because probably we'll have to dig inside the GUI. We have to, in the, in the next stream, we have to go and find exactly why, why, um, it doesn't work the way I want it to work. We have to find the reason why it doesn't work the way I want it to work. So I'm going to end this stream here. Uh, as we can see, we have made it a very basic background. We pass it inside, we do the renaming, and uh, yeah, the next step is to find exactly how to resize the window to the standard size we want, which is going to be 600 by 600, and then, of course, go and continue working on... Uh, what is that? I like that. Uh, continue working on uh, the window itself uh, to make it a bit, uh, a bit more sophisticated because right now it's too basic. So that's it for uh, decoding this uh, synthesizer. Uh, thank you everybody for uh, for participating, and see you in one of the next streams. Bye bye.